Hi, I'm Andrew from PTP. I'm one of the security consultants here, and today we're going to be talking about how easy it is to disable a number of wireless alarms on the market. What we have here is a consumer alarm. It's low end, um, it's not going to be installed by a professional, but a number of the techniques we're going to use here will cover alarms that go all the way from the low end right up to the professionally installed market. Um, just to show you how the alarm works, we'll arm it by pressing the arm button. You can now see the alarms on. If we then move the door contact as if we were opening the door, you'll see the alarm counting down. We can now use a key fob to turn the alarm off, so the alarm's now disarmed. All of that was done wirelessly between the key fob and the panel, and the, the contact here and the panel. Um, what we can do with this is we can actually jam this alarm. What that means is we stop all signals getting through from the detectors through to the panel and it won't go off. So this is called a waterfall diagram. This shows us the radio uh, spectrum around where the alarm transmits and receives. If we arm the alarm by pressing the key fob button here, you can see the signal transmitted here. If we disarm it, you can see the signal again. What we can do, however, is we can stop all signals going from the detectors and the fobs to the alarm. And this is very easy to do. There's a number of different ways you can do jamming. This one at the top here, proactive or naive jamming, is just when you send a signal 100% of the time to stop everything getting through. The two down here are more advanced, but we don't need to concern ourselves with those because the simple jamming up here works. What we're going to do is use this cheap device here, an RF cat, costs about £30 to just send a continuous signal to stop the alarm going off. The alarm's armed at the moment. We'll start the jamming going. You can see the signal now being transmitted continuously. What this will do is it will stop all signals getting from the detectors to the alarm. It will stop the panic button working. It will stop the key fob working. We can do whatever we want. We can just walk into the house and the alarm won't go off. This shouldn't be possible.